come here, come here. Cambodian Landmark Museum. Here's Mr. Bill, is there? I am one of the tour guides here at the Landmine Museum. I've been working with uh, Aki Ra for about 20 years. Wow. Come here, come here. He's the... Okay. Ah, from the video, yeah? Yes, from no, the video. From the video. Yeah, yeah, from the okay, video. so uh, he's the... Uh, tour guide. Tour guide. Oh, tour guide. Actually, he's also involved in the video that you see. Yes. He's our hero also. Uh, yeah, he's the one who said and who do it. It's unlike other uh, people. Yes. Yeah, yeah. We are really happy to see the tourists beginning to come back to Cambodia. We are still way below where we were before COVID. Yeah. We're like less than half of the tourists we used to get. So it's, it's a big struggle here right now to keep the museum open because we're not getting a lot of tourists. But they're beginning to come back more and more. We still do demining. I'm the chairman of the board of the demining team. And we have been clearing, we've cleared almost 300 minefields. We have two bomb squads that go out. We do education. Last week we did an education program with 400 people talking to them about Lang Tumui Min. Don't play with mines. Ah, play uh, with footballs. Yeah. See from England. She will maybe help you to promote. <laughs> Next year, I her brother. Yeah, her... We've got a charity we work with in England called ah. Global Tier. You can make donations through that and then you get the, uh, what is it, the matching donation from the British government. I think it might be. Yes. In the United States, they let you take it off your taxes. The British government <laughs> matches match 25% of whatever you donate. Oh, so that's a much good. better deal than the U.S. does. What is your last word that you want to say to all people who never been here before? Get on a plane and come to Cambodia. It is a really fascinating country, and right now it's a really good time to come because there's not it's not real crowded. So you can see a lot of things that were very difficult to see before. But and it's cheap. what is your last word after hearing from Bill? I mean the same thing. Come to Cambodia. It's the most beautiful country with the loveliest people. It has such an interesting history and culture and I mean if anything else you can come to places like this to learn so much you can go to places like Angkor Wat to see the beautiful things it's just the perfect country to come to on your travels and then you can go to the beach ah uh, yes yes not many people have been there okay at the end if you want to come to Cambodian Museum find him as the tour guide if you want to come to see a beauty and the ruins or the history find Charia <laughs> okay thank you bye bye I'll go to the end okay what I'll go to the end for your hand <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, where we are now? We're at the Landmine Museum in Siem Reap. Oh, okay. Is it far? Uh, a little bit far from the city, but not too far. Yeah. Do you think it's uh, worth it to visit this museum? Absolutely. I think this museum is so, so important. I've learned so much about landmines and their use all throughout the world, but especially in Cambodia. And the person who started this project is actually himself as a young child, as a child soldier when he was around 10 years old, was planting the landmines. And then he turned around when he was an adult and said, I want to do something about this. I want to help my country. Um, because ultimately what this shows us is that if you don't help yourself first, no one else can help you because he's the one that was raising awareness and bringing in the international community and all these organizations to say, you know, these landmines are killing people, especially children, yeah. all throughout Cambodia and they need to be removed. Did you take something from this museum after coming here, after learning or reading a lot, or listening a lot? I think, yeah, definitely the idea that you need to help yourself first and raise awareness for your own issues and really be kind of from the ground up. So if you see something in your community that is wrong, you can call attention to it and try and help the people around you. Okay, so the last word, do you want more people coming here and why? Yeah, I think I think lots more people should come here. I think not so many people come here. I was the only person here when I arrived here, and that's sad because this is a very, very important organization, and it's not so far from the main city of Siem Reap, and it's also close to one of the very beautiful temples. So I think that if you're visiting, especially if you're going around the temples, you should definitely stop here as well. Yeah. It's uh, from Bante Sri Temple. It takes only 15 minutes along the way back. Or you can stop here first and then visiting the temple. It's very worth it, as he said and expectedly uh, stop to visit and it's kind of supporting to remove all landmines from Cambodian land. Do you agree? Yes, very, very important. They still hurt. I think about a hundred people a year still yes. are being injured. Yes, correct. Without getting help from the donator or from the visitor, it's going to be a little bit hard for us to uh, continue this project. Mm -hmm. Stay tuned guys, coming to Cambodia Landmine Museum. Yay. <laughs> In front of Cambodian Landmark Museum, it's make me sad 
Why I'm sad? Because after learning a lot of history, darkness, history, the landmine in Cambodian is not completely clear. So that's why in the deep forest, if you're not sure, you cannot just go randomly. If you have a tour guide, the tour guide, of course, they know where the mine is. If you go for trekking, we need to get other ranger to make sure that you are safe because they are local. Want to learn deep history about Cambodian, what the people experience, you must come here to Cambodian Landmine Museum.